So it is time to start processing my client Kent's elk skull. Well, as you see, we got an elk skull and we got a little bit of fly activity there. Well, whatever, we'll deal with that. First step is I'm muddling the brain. And so I've got just a coat hanger. I'm gonna stick it in there. And we're just gonna muddle that up. Make sure all the brain matter is, is good and scrunched up. And there's not much in there. But the maggots ate that first. Well, we'll do that. And get rid of this bag here. And next thing I'm gonna do, we're just gonna grab a hose and we're gonna spray it off. Spread off, remove most of the most of the maggots real quick. I don't need to get them all off, but we'll get most of them. Oh, nicely, thank you. Nice bug. I'm gonna spray out the dang rain hole. Most of it done. Take this tub that it was sitting in, and we will float these maggots that are in here. Fill it with water. And this will be the container that we use to uh, to boil the skull in. All right, so I got it mostly full. I'm gonna get the water to the right area. Fill this up. See, just with my, all the skull is covered, but I'm not gonna get all the way to the above the base of the antlers. I want to be. I just want the skull skull covered at this point. That's about right there. All right, took the skull out and. Uh, Wind's blowing a little bit today, so I've got the the uh, burners going. I got two burners going on this bigger pot, and created some little bit wind baffles with some of my stuff. Then I am going to add to this from the start 
a couple of scoops of OxyClean. Just from the start. I will have to add more as I put the skull in, but that gets it going. Basically, I'm gonna boil this, I'm gonna get this water to a, a low boil, and uh, and the OxyClean just pretty much does the job on it, whitening a skull and uh, loosening up the, the uh, the rest of the flesh material should come out beautiful. We want to preserve as much of the natural color on the antler as possible. I've taken some plastic Walmart bags, which is nice thick plastic on the new bags that we pay eight cents for in, uh, in Washington. And I've taken them, wrapped it around, then I just duct tape them around there around the base of the antler. The OxyClean itself won't change the color of the antler, but those ro these Roosevelt elk rub on a bunch of different trees, giving them that amber color from the sap. And that's really what we don't want the OxyClean to remove, to have completely natural color in the antler because that mahogany, ambery color is just gorgeous on these antlers. So, the OxyClean water is over here foamed up a little bit but it's not quite to a, a boil we're just gonna wait for that to get to temperature and uh and put that uh the skull in there for about 15 20 minutes all right looks like we got the steam coming off the water it's almost ready the bubbles are just slightly a slight rolling bubble, a slight rolling bo boil going on. So well, it's close enough. I'm gonna go ahead and put the skull in. First, I'm gonna put another another scoop of OxyClean or two in there. Actually, and let it handle that foam up again, so less of it foams up. Oh man. size container you'll probably use about half of a half of a jug of oxyclean see how that bubbles up give it a little bit and actually give it a little bit more time to continue to heat up all right well with this volume of water this may be as much as we're gonna get but we got a slow moving rope boil see the water motion there uh, if I covered it, I'd probably get a, a better boil, but this is what we got now. Oh, we're going to go ahead and put the skull in. to basically get the get it to stay down it's got to fill in the air holes there now it's not floating I'll take this and move it back a little best all right stay there and then i'm gonna slowly add a little more oxyclean i'm trying to keep it mostly off the air there's the bubbles and stuff but the water level is right where i wanted it to be this 
jug of OxyClean to uh, clean some other skulls before. Huh? Adding a little bit more in. And we'll let it do its thing. Check on it in about 15, 20 minutes. All right, I put a towel over it to, uh, to kind of keep some of the heat in. But it's about ready. It's been actually 40 minutes that I put it in there because the water wasn't quite at the boil level that I like it at. But let's take it out and see what it looks like. starting to white up. Thank you. I'm gonna take it over here and we will scrape most of this other stuff off. I just use a little knife here. It kind of turns it into jelly. I'll just go through, scrape and cut it off, clean it up. And uh, once it's all done, I will put it in for another dip just to uh, to really get it nice and clean. That OxyClean just makes this stuff kind of flake off. All right, well, I could use both hands, so I'm gonna get to that. All right, we got the first scrape done. Removed all this material here. Looking pretty good. Oh, we still got a little little connected material around, so we will uh, put it back in. Well, took a few dips and a few scrapes, but she's done. You can still, she's still steaming. I just took her out, took him out. <sighs> But, there we go. OxyClean still, you can see the fragile stuff inside the nasal cavity still intact. Pretty easy. Now let's let it dry, harden back up, and then uh, we'll get it over to Kurt.